All right, you ready? Yeah. All right. What's up? I'm Josh. I'm Matt. This is Matt. He's handsome like Brian Gosling. <laughs> this is Riker. He's so. a big, sexy Viking. <laughs> I look like Danny DeVito. But uh, you might as well call us Angel, Blaine, and Copperfield because we're about to make <laughs> photography magic. <laughs> On a serious note, uh, these guys, so awesome, so talented. When I first started shooting, I remember I was having a lot of trouble editing my photos and stuff. Couldn't get the look I wanted. I came across Matt's work, beautiful, cinematic. I uh, DM'd him and I was like, dude, I just started photography. I fucking suck at editing photos. I love the way yours look. Is there any way I could like pay you to just sit down with me and like teach me a few things? And he was like, dude, you don't gotta pay me. Like, what are you doing? We'll come through. Him and Riker come through. Just out of the kindness of their heart, weren't getting anything out of it. They sat down with me for like two hours, took me through Lightroom, chopped it up. And you know, obviously it formed a relationship where we've done some projects together. Super talented, super nice guys. So stoked to work with them every time. Check it out. I'm gonna use two cameras today. Obviously I'm gonna use the Rolly 3.5, but I'm also gonna shoot some 35 mil on the Olympus OM-1. And this camera's kind of funny because this is literally like a $150 camera, one of the first film cameras I bought. And since then, I've spent well over $18,000 on film cameras, some of them ranging from, you know, $1,600 to a couple thousand dollars. And for some reason, I just want to shoot on this thing all the time. And it just kind of shows you that with film, it's not like digital. Like, you just need any body, really. And if you have some good glass, like, you're going to get good images. And these cheap, fully mechanical, like really old 35s, I just love them. You don't gotta worry about batteries, you don't gotta worry about anything. No auto focus. It's just as bare bones as it could be. And to me, that's what photography's about, just simplifying it, you know? Um, so yeah, we'll put some, uh, I think we're gonna shoot some Cinestill 800T in the 35, some uh, Portra 800 in the 120. All right, so today we're shooting, uh, these photos were going for the vibe of like Leonardo DiCaprio, Romeo and Juliet in the 90s versus like Hunter S. Thompson, just that fear and loathing. Fear and loathing meets Romeo and Juliet. And uh, I think we kind of killed it. Matt's got the look going. I had this vintage Versace shirt that's just crazy colors, messed up the hair, busted open. I think we got it. It's going to be a cool vibe. This looks so good, I almost just want to kill this whole roll just on this like angle. get a little bit of a background glow behind him, behind the chair, just to make it pop a bit more and bring out those reds in the background. Mm -hmm. film for these shots. The size of the grain when you're shooting on 120 film, it's like perfect. You, you still get the grain, but it's not like overpowering on the image. And the, uh, the, the colors you get out of the Porsche 800, especially with like all those deep reds in the photo and stuff, it just really popped. I love 
the straight up portrait, just with his head straight up and down, heavy light on one side of his face, almost like an angry brow, backlit, red glow behind his head. It's just like a super iconic looking, strong portrait. That's probably one of my top three. From the uh, Cinestill 800T, the laid back, cigarette on the chest, fell out of his mouth, cigarettes falling out of the pack on the floor, fuck love on the face. Really cinematic looking, almost like a movie still. But by far my favorite image is that three quarter portrait with the shadow, the hair just wild in the shadow and this beautiful like purple lens flare that just kind of appeared in the perfect place on the image. It almost looks like something that somebody would add after the fact and like something like afterlight, you know, put, it, put an effect on it. But that's the beautiful thing about film is these things just happen naturally. These photos weren't edited. They just are the way they are. And it just couldn't have worked out any better. Just this perfect like hue of purple kind of spikily strung across it. It adds almost a third layer to the photo that it needed. You have the shadow of the subject, and now you have this lens flare. And rule of thirds makes everything great. By far, that's my favorite image on the sheet.